Hello, this is Jose Rocha here, and this is Jose Rocha at the movies, even though I'm not exactly in the movies, I'm in this little tight corner here. And today we'll be reviewing something that I had since my earliest childhood. This is Cartoons Are Fun. Now if you don't know what this is, I'll just give you a little bit of a bit history. Cartoons Are Fun was actually a a cartoon series where they would just have they would just have public domain cartoons. This went on throughout the late eighties and throughout the nineties. Now I'm not exactly sure what company this was, but according to the tape, this says it says it's by A E E Riverside, California. I don't know what that is. And you can see here. Well, if you guys are wondering what this uh, string is doing on this tape, well, it's just my tape player is kind of broken. It doesn't reject the tape, so I actually had to use the string to just gently pull it out so it can give it a boost. Now, this is not my only Cartoons of Fun tape. I happen to have another one, but this one doesn't have a label, but I actually put Cartoons of Fun on the cover here, if you can see that. I don't think you can. Anyhow, both tapes contain three cartoons, but for some reason, it's supposed to have four, but for some reason, these two tapes only have three. I don't know if that's supposed to be, or there's another version of the fourth cartoon. Well, anyhow, we'll be talking about this one right here, because it has a label. Now the first cartoon contains actually a Bugs Bunny cartoon, Fresh Hair, which surprisingly is one of my first Bugs Bunny cartoons. Yeah, this was actually my only source of Looney Tunes cartoons at the time. I didn't exactly have, like, cable at the time when I was younger, and this was my only Bugs Bunny cartoon I saw, until I saw the Cartoon Network was showing the Looney Tunes cartoon, then I got introduced to more Bugs Bunny cartoons. And the cartoon was directed by Frizz Frilly. Now the cartoon begins with a very fat number of foot. And this is one of the rare times when the directors of the Looney Tunes staff wanted to make Elmer Fudd fat. This was actually supposed to match his voice actor, Arthur Q. Brown, who did the voice of Elmer Fudd. And I guess uh, they didn't quite work out to the public. So we got the usual skinny Emma Fudd with the big head. <laughs> At last, the long arm of the war is reaching out and closing in on you, you screwy wabbit. Come on out, you wabbit. Come on now, you want to arrest. Huh, for some reason Emma Fudd is a forest ranger instead of a hunter. I guess he just got tired of hunting and just want to just be part of the nature instead of killing people. Now I can't imagine Bugs Bunny being arrested for something. What do you suppose he did? Listen to this. Resisting an officer, assault and battery, trespassing, disturbing the peace, miscellaneous misdemeanors, public nuisance, traffic violations, going through a boulevard stop, Jaywalking, triple parking, conduct unbecoming to a wabbit. Nice looking chap. Oh, violating traffic regulations. Oh, so he did all that? Well, I suppose he did, considering that he's rabid. And the whole cartoon is nothing but Emma Fudd chasing Bugs Bunny or to arrest him. It's pretty much your standard classic Looney Tune style of comedy. Of course, Bugs Bunny ended up getting arrested, 
And the cartoon ends in almost like a very almost brutal way. I wonder what I'm gonna do next for this ending. Wish I wasn't sexy. Hooray! Hooray! Oh, I can't help me sing this song. Do da, do da. I can't help me start quite my long. Fantastic, isn't it? Wine the run all night. Wine the run all day. I'll bet my money on a pop me like somebody there on the day. Ended on a blackface joke. This is pretty much your classic Elmo Fun and Bugs Money cartoon where usually Elmo Fun is capturing Bugs Money. Even though he's not a hunter. And that's pretty much all I have to say about Fresh Hair. One of the very first Bugs Money cartoons that I saw. Well, that's pretty much it for this review. See you next time in the next Jose Rocha in the movies. Hey Leroy, do you suppose I should get a new chair for this? Yeah, seriously, people. This is just a patio chair. Not very comfortable. Leroy, when do you think you're gonna give me a new chair here?